Now, we want to do some questions from page 32, KBSM chemistry textbook. Work this out calculation. So, given Avogadro's constant is 6.02 times 10 power 23 per mole, so this section is about the number of particles, number of moles, and also the Avogadro's constant. Okay, so question number one read carefully, calculate the number of atoms in A, B, C, D. Okay, so we're going to do uh, question A, B, C, D, but before that, we might want to review a bit about our previous knowledge you need to know that this is considering the number of particle okay so this is called the actual number of particle okay it's the same as saying how many students in this class so there will be 30 students or maybe 36 students in this class all right so this one is a uh, considered number of mole okay and this is Avogadro's constant and it has a value of 6.02 times 10 power 23 okay so <coughs> how do we really understand this is uh, we consider uh, one dozen we've done this before but I don't mind doing it again. One dozen will have uh, 12, let's say, flowers. So what if I want to buy 4.5 dozen of flowers? But before that, let's do 2 dozen. 2 dozen will have 2 times 12, 24. Okay. So now you look at this. 24 is the actual number. The actual number, so we label it similar to chemistry is a big M number of atoms how many balls of atoms okay how many tennis ball in the room like, like that that situation so this is just a standard number for one dozen and this is the amount of dozen you want okay so number of mole it's like the amount of dozen you want amount of dozen you want all right so that's why we can have such formula of 4.5 times 12 and for chemistry it is actually if you have 4.5 mole so 4.5 mole times 0 6.02 times 10 power 23 you will have so much of this amount okay so that's why the formula is big n equals to small n and a right so let's begin our journey of doing this question so number one n calculate the number of atoms in one more of aluminium okay so one more aluminium so i just write here big n with the aluminium how many atoms are there so in exam it's not necessary to write this i just write this for you to see and uh, we use this so they say there's one more so 1 times 6.02 times 10 power 23 and then B they mentioned that they want 0 0.5 more of iodine molecules okay so number of atoms of iodine not iodine molecules yes they mentioned that they have 0 0.5 more of iodine molecules but they want the total number of atoms okay do you realize inside you have two atoms do you realize inside all right since that's that's the case we need to modify it we need to put two n and a why because we are asking for how many atoms we are asking for how many atoms altogether Okay, one molecule will have two atoms in this case. So the calculation will proceed from here to NNA. So 2 times 0 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 power 23. So because of this, 2 times 0 0.5 is 1 nevertheless. So you still get back the same amount. Okay. You get back the amount 6.02 times 10 power 
have stem power train tree. Iodine atoms. Right, let's try C. C, they are asking for 3.2 more of helium atom. Quite easy. Because helium, I know is 4. But we don't need to know the mass for now. Okay? Because we just need to know how many helium atoms are there. How many total? This is like 3.2 dozens of uh, helium. If, if uh, mole is, is like dozen, then 3.2 dozen of helium means, uh, or 3 dozen of helium means 36 helium atoms. Okay, so this one, how many atoms all together? So you can proceed with this. How many helium atoms and an A? So we use 3.2 times 6.02 times 10 power of 23. So this calculation will give you 3.2 multiply 6.02. 1.93 Helium atoms okay. Well in exam you shouldn't uh, draw this diagram You just write 1.93 times 10 power 24 Helium atoms okay. How many of them? I draw it because I wanted to know it well Now we go to D D, it can be a bit tough because this is ozone gas. So this ozone gas, I can say, here we have one molecule, but it has three atoms. So since the question asks for the number of atoms, we have to use the formula number of O atoms. I use a square bracket to show, to, uh, to avoid confusion. So how many oxygen atoms are there? So 3 mole and A. So 3 times given 0 0.4 mole. Alright, something that I haven't given you just now. Given 0 0.4 moles. So you put moles, number of moles 0 0.4. Then you times 6.02 times 10 power of 23. Alright. So you may get your answer of 3 times 0 0.4, you get 1.2, 1.2 times 6.02, 7.22, alright? So you have 7.22 times 10 power of negative, uh, 10 power of 23 uh, oxygen atoms. You can write formal language. 10.22 times 10 power 23 oxygen atoms 